Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and today I am reviewing the Ryobi 1800 PSI power washer. It's electric, plug-in, moves, what does it say, 1.2 gallons per minute. So this isn't for someone who wants to do any kind of heavy-duty cleaning, but this is really good if you just want to, like, use a foam cannon on it and wash your car, do some light cleaning around your house, maintenance cleaning, right? Not the real deep cleaning. So I'm gonna unbox this and we'll come back later and have a chat. Okay, so let's get to unboxing the Ryobi electric pressure washer. Cut the tape here. You're probably gonna see my mic cord flopping around here. Um, all right, so we have instructions for use. This is the hose. I believe this is a 20 foot hose. A few accessories like a strap and the wand end. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, there's a handle that needs to be attached to it. And a strap and the quick connect wand end. Some screws. This is the handle. Now I believe this is a uh, proprietary end here, which I don't know if it can be removed or not. This is the pressure washer itself with the cord. The cord I believe is a 35 foot cord. This is just uh, like a little detergent bottle and another part of the wand. Got your on and off buttons here. A re different nozzle head. Interesting that that doesn't have another nozzle there. Maybe just, maybe that's just for this. Maybe that goes in there like that. And um, yeah, that's all she wrote, really. It's inspected by number 23. So there we go. That's the Ryobi 1800 PSI pressure washer. And I'll have a full review for you in another week or so. All right, so that's the Ryobi 1800 PSI power washer. I think the model number on this, what does it say here? Um... Well, yeah, I don't know exactly what the model number is on this, but it was inspected by number 23. Anyway, I'll have a full review of this. I've already used it, and so um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm not pleased with the water at my house and how it leaves spots and doesn't rinse well, but we'll get into that a little bit later. I know I can add filters on and stuff like that. So until next time, if you want to see more videos like this, I appreciate your support as always. There are links down in the description where you can support me financially or just give this video a like and a subscribe and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. And I have to stop looking at myself in the camera. But I'm so pretty.